Can I start? <laughs> okay, good, mo uh, good afternoon. My name is Miguel Mira da Silva. I'm sorry because I, I took uh, one uh, tooth uh, three days ago, um, but I'm more or less okay. So I'm a professor at uh, Technico. Technico is the biggest, oldest, best known and best faculty of engineering in Portugal. Uh, there are other good universities as well, but this is the best. Um, I'm a professor of information systems um, there. Uh, information systems belongs to IT, but it's like to say the, the soft side of IT. Okay? It's halfway between IT and uh, management. Uh, in most universities, actually information systems is in the management department, not in the IT department. Apart from that, I'm also a research group leader at INOV. INOV is part of the INESC, and INESC is also part of the university. <coughs> and I do lots of research, okay? I published uh, more than 20 papers, scientific papers last year, for example. I graduated two PhDs uh, last year and another two this year. Now, I only have 10 minutes. I just want to uh, let you know about what I think uh, about the specific subject I've been uh, reading and, and writing and talking about for the last five years. It's not a research topic, okay? It's just a hobby, okay? <laughs> So you all know about the digital transformation, what's going on, with, uh, especially with AI, uh, like uh, driverless cars and so on. But the impact that's going to have on jobs is tremendous. Okay? People don't ha have a clue what's going to happen. Okay? Uh, especially with drivers, all drivers in the world will be, not all of them, but most of them will be jobless uh, in a few years. Uh, most call center operators, most supermarket operators, and so on and so on. And that's 20 to 30% of all jobs. If you take into account the lawyers and, and, and doctors and so on and, and, and people that just look at images and classify images and so on and put data entry, it's going to be at least 40% of all jobs. And that's going to be dramatic. You just have to think that Hitler was dem democratically elected with 30% unemployment rate in Germany. Okay? And we, the real unemployment rate in Portugal is already 15 to 20%. The, the numbers you, you see on TV is completely false. Okay? Now, this is the problem, okay? what's the solution? Of course, you have to take uh, the new generations, the millennials, you have to train them on jobs that are going to, to exist in 10 to, to 15 years, not the jobs that are disappearing. Half of the courses in Portugal and in Europe are completely useless. Okay? You are training people for jobs that don't exist. Okay? Half of them, okay? half of them. So you have to stop subsidizing these uh, degrees and you have to subsidize much more the, the real uh, uh, degree, the real the jobs, the degrees for jobs that we need, for example, IT. It's not only IT, but it's mostly, as you know, mostly IT. Also, sales, taking care of old people, for example, is going to increase uh, exponentially because lots of old people in the next 10 to 15 years, maybe twice as many as today, and we don't have enough people to take care of these old people, okay? For example. So, now, that's going to take 10 to 15 years. What, how do you solve the problem right now? In my opinion, universities are training very few people. For example, in technical, we, the biggest in Portugal, we only graduate 140 IT engineers per year. Right now, there are at least 30, 30,000 jobs for IT in Portugal. So we'll never, never, never be able to train the, the, the people you need to work in the IT industry in Portugal. Never mind the, the Volkswagen's and so on of the world that will come to Portugal to recruit our IT engineers here and those that are still in our IT engineers to go to Germany and so on, okay? So we need to reconvert to train these people in shorter degrees, like one year, maybe even three months or five months, like we are already doing that technical for one of the biggest consulting companies, to reconvert people that uh, graduate in other degrees and, and train them in IT, okay? And guess what? There are studies, is th the time should be over very soon. So there are studies that, for example, I can uh, share the link with you that say, uh, people that uh, learn IT in two months, in average, are as good as people that take seven years to graduate in IT in two months, okay? Of course, they're not the same kind of people, okay? For example, they know more about uh, web, inter web interfaces, maybe uh, UX, UI, and so on, and more practical stuff, and the guys that take seven years to graduate, uh, they know more data, uh, uh, structures, algorithms, and so on. But how many of you that are developers actually are using those uh, very advanced knowledge in, in data structures and algorithms, okay? Of course, you still need to graduate a very few people, like 
1%, 5%, I don't know, that really know about data structures and algorithms, but there are 10 times more jobs for people that just know, you know, front-end development, back-end development, and uh, web stuff, and mobile applications, and that kind of stuff, okay? So that's uh, my solution. Uh, fortunately, it's happening. In Portugal already, in Lisbon, we have at least three international companies with these short courses. The uh, universities themselves are uh, opening new degrees, like we did in technical, five months to reconvert an, uh, an engineer, non-IT engineer, into an IT uh, guy. And guy means both men and women, okay? And uh, actually more women than, than men, <laughs> usually, because they come from bio uh, engineering and so on. They are really, really good students, but they don't know uh, much about IT. And five months is enough. Even yesterday, I was in Algarve in a company, and I saw uh, a lady there. She came to me and said hi. And she was one of the students in one of these uh, conversion degrees, and, and she is now working in Algarve in an IT company. And she comes from a non-IT background. So it's perfectly normal. So, but we have to do that in thousands, not, not dozens like we are doing at Technico, like 80 per year. We have to do that like 8,000 per year, okay, or 20,000 per year in Lisbon only. Now multiply that for all the cities in Europe, in the world. So I think I used my 10 minutes. So it's not doing that yet, so? Well, I can continue. <laughs> <laughs> so you have four minutes. Four minutes? OK, so if you, if you want to, otherwise, you can just give the ball to the next one. OK, I can give you concrete examples, OK? Not only from technical that uh, we are doing that already, but from private companies uh, like Iron Hat and Livadron in, in Lisbon. Uh, as you know, in, in London and in, in Ireland, so on, there are many more. It's because, and then you have the online courses. I didn't mention the online courses. But myself, I'm coordinating uh, an online master degree. It takes two years uh, to, to complete. Uh, and anybody can learn IT online uh, in technical in that master degree without ever going to a single lecture. By the way, most of the students there don't go to letters anywhere, as, as you know, okay? They, they don't go as well. But if it's completely online, you can live anywhere in Portugal, anywhere in the world, and still complete a master's degree in technical. So, for example, we already have that. We have 60 places every year, and we have 100 candidates, in average, for these 60 places, okay? You, and we already graduated 32 uh, master, um, with a master's degree already in this uh, new one. Um, so, uh, Open University, together with Technical, are doing that, but they are doing that now with other universities in Portugal and opening new online degrees for people that are already working in uh, stupid jobs with a very low salaries, like call center employees, and they can train, uh, they can learn IT online in the university, okay, without leaving their jobs. This is very important because these people already are working uh, and they need to work because they survive from their work. They have kids, many of them. They are married or not, but they live together with someone and so on, and they need to keep uh, working, okay? Okay, if it's a company like Deloitte, they can pay someone for five months to learn IT, but that's different. Of course, Altran is doing the same thing. Every is now is not going to do the same thing and so on. All of them, Novabuzz, Critical Software, every, everyone is going to do that. Of course, another way is, another concrete example, is the companies themselves, they can create these academies in-house, okay? And to train their own people for it, or uh, to recruit trainees and then uh, train them uh, in, inside the company. Uh, for example, banks and insurance companies, as you know, banks are, all of them are completely bankrupt, okay? All the banks in Europe are bankrupt, okay? They will have to fire, not, not thousands, but uh, in Europe, hundreds of thousands of people will be fired in the next few years because banks will be move online. They're already moving online. And you won't need, you know, like Cash Out Posi has 17,000 employees. They need less than 1,000 employees, okay? They will have to get rid of 15,000 people in the next three to five years. Otherwise, they're, well, they're already bankrupt, but even more, okay? <laughs> what do you do with 15,000 people, okay? It's easy. Train them in IT, okay? Even worse, or even better. These, uh, these banks and insurance companies, they need people for their IT departments, and they cannot recruit people. Because as you know, you don't have enough IT uh, guys in the market for the jobs already. No wonder about the new jobs that will be created in the banking industries, uh, insurance, and so on and so on. For healthcare, for, for everything, even universities, okay? How many IT guys work in technical? Okay, very, very, very few. 
how many will work in five years? Many, because universities also move online, and we need lot, much less professors. We need many more IT guys. Okay, so these are examples. I think I used my four minutes. I can give you more examples, but I think th these are enough. So I don't know if there are any questions or anything. Thank you very much, by the way. <laughs>